summertime in Germany poses an interesting problem for many Americans living over here as we have to learn how to survive without air conditioning. So what is it about air conditioning that Germans refuse to use and how does one beat the heat without this sweet relief? Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. I am Donnie. And I'm Aubrey. And we are two Americans currently living in Germany and sharing all of our experiences living and traveling throughout Europe. In the summer where we are from in the US, temperatures can easily climb well above 35 degrees Celsius for weeks at a time. Whereas where we are living in Germany, days hitting these types of temperatures seem to be the exception and the rest of the season stays relatively comfortable. It's... July 14th, and we're dressed like this. But for a lot of people, summer is just hot enough in Germany that without air conditioning, it can be quite uncomfortable for a few weeks out of the year, and getting through those periods takes some extra planning and creativity than just simply hitting a few buttons on a wall to cool off your place. Well, that is exactly what we are gonna talk about today in our video. The German summer can be a bummer, unless you know how to be a heat overcomer. Our experiences are definitely specific to where we are originally from, a state in the southern U.S. called Oklahoma, and where we live now in the southwestern German state of Rhineland Falls. Both of these places have their own unique subcultures and climates that may not be representative of the two countries as a whole. In fact, there are large parts of the U.S. where it also isn't common to have air conditioners, and even some of our family in the Pacific Northwest don't have them. Recently, they had to learn how to beat record-breaking temperatures without air con just just a month ago. If they do not have air conditioning and cooling centers will serve a vital role in a region where a significant part of the population doesn't have air conditioning. That is a completely different experience than what we had growing up in the southern U.S. So therefore, let us know your experiences with beating the summer heat in the comments below and where you're from. An early sign that summer is coming in Germany are fans and miniature air conditioning units popping up in grocery stores and convenience stores across the country in mid to late spring. When these start to show up, it'll normally still be quite cool or even cold still, and you'll be tempted to say, nah, it's not hot. I don't need one of those. But be warned, this is a dangerous game to play. Fans are a key tool to beating the heat in Germany and once things start to heat up, fans become a very valuable commodity that is hard to come by as people rush the stores and buy all of them out. So tip number one, if you see a fan, buy it and hold onto it until that moment that you'll be thankful you got it. In terms of which fans we recommend, well, any and all of them. We have small fans we put on our desks while we work, standing fans that can reach up on our bed while we sleep, and larger tabletop fans that just become part of our room's decor in the summer. On some of the extreme days and in dire situations, we will even gather them all to form a small fan army to try and get some relief. These are particularly handy also on hot nights where there is no breeze and you need to get that hot air circulating and cooling off in your home. <laughs> Besides fans moving and cooling down the air in your home, you have to learn to master the Rouladen and window dance to keep your place cool. Mastering this is like a ballet or a fine art because you have to balance getting cool air in, keeping hot air out, not allowing the sun to heat up your home like a greenhouse, but also not suffocating with stale, humid air. To be honest, even after having lived here for nearly two years, we are still working on finding this perfect balance. And even Germans who grew up doing this debate what the best strategy is of opening windows, closing windows, tilting windows, and lowering Rouladen shades. In fact, go ahead and leave in the comments what your strategy is with windows and Rouladens to try and keep the home cool. For us, what has worked best is opening up the entire house as wide as we can at night to get as much of the cool night air in the home and circulating. This means opening all of our windows wide open and either leaving the Rouladens all the way up on a particularly hot night or closing them just enough that we have some privacy, yet still allowing a breeze in. We then 
then try and get up early enough to quickly close up the house by closing all the windows and lowering all of their lattes. This turns your home into a completely dark cave, but it keeps the sun out and the cool nighttime air in just long enough to survive until the next night. Alternatively, during the day, we sometimes will keep the Rolladens cracked just to let some light in and may open a window or two to try to get the breeze through the house. These strategies are going to change for people that spend the day working at home or are only there in the evenings. That's because if you stay at home all day and if you shut the house completely tight, humidity can build up from just you being in there and could make it uncomfortably humid in the home forcing you to maybe keep some windows open or cracked. We also know the German love for Luften and have even done an entire video on that to show you some of the best strategies to keep fresh air flowing in the home throughout the day. By the way, if you would like to support us in making these videos, simply hitting that like and subscribe buttons and leaving a comment that you are enjoying our videos goes a really, really long way for us. Please remember to do that. And also, if you would like to support us in other ways, we have our Patreon linked in the description, but let's move on to the next tip to stay cool. One thing that doesn't necessarily help with staying cool, but was very unique for us to experience after moving here was Germans not just airing out their homes every day, but also airing out their bed linens particularly in the summertime. It is very common to see Germans hanging their bed linens out their bedroom windows or on their balconies in the morning. After surviving a long, hot night sweating through your sheets, it is a good idea to go ahead and dry them out and get the smell out of the sheets first thing in the morning while the air is still a little cool. Of course, there are other ways to cool off in the summer outside of the home that is slightly unique in Germany compared to the US. First, specific food and beverage differences being in the US, it is super common to cool off by getting a snow cone from stands all over cities and towns, which is basically just shaved ice with a sweet syrup flavor poured over it. Or you will go and get an icy from the gas station, or people will drive through restaurants where they will have a massive assortment of different drinks you can get to help cool you off. In Germany, of course, you will find beer gardens full of people hiding out under the shade of the trees and umbrellas enjoying an ice cold beer. Besides beer, people also often cool off with a very popular orange colored drink over here in Europe that is slowly getting introduced in the US called an Aperol Spritz. These are cocktails that contain Aperol, Prosecco, and a splash of soda water and often are served with an orange wedge. There are a ton of other regional drinks to help cool off like Weinschorles or Radlers and non-alcoholic drinks that are really popular like Apfelschorles, which is apple juice mixed with carbonated water or even just simply carbonated water is a favorite. A classic German Sunday afternoon may also take you to an ice cream shop where you will get a nice scoop of ice cream. This honestly isn't any different in the US where of course one of the most popular ways to cool off is with an ice cream. And in fact, Germans and Americans both consume about the same amount of ice cream per year, around six kilograms. But you will find big differences between ice cream in the US and in Germany. German ice cream primarily is actually gelato which contains less fat, is much less dense, is much softer, serves slightly warmer, and the scoops are generally much smaller than American scoops. You can also enjoy unique flavors over here in Europe that you won't typically find in the US. Two examples would be Stracciacella, which is vanilla with chocolate shavings, my favorite, Waldmeister, which is extremely unique to Germany and would be translated to sweet woodruff in English, but that won't help describe what it tastes like, of course, because that isn't really a flavor used in America. Which is my favorite. Yes. There are also unique German ice cream specialties like spaghetti ice, which is a vanilla ice cream treat made to look like a plate of spaghetti with whipped cream, vanilla ice cream squeezed through a spätzle press to look like noodles, topped with strawberry sauce to look like tomato sauce, and white chocolate shavings to look like Parmesan cheese. One of the biggest tips to stay cool in Germany is to get to a Freibad. Freibad literally translates to free pool, but that doesn't refer to the price, but rather where they are. These are generally public outdoor pools that you pay a small entrance fee to be able to spend the day laying out and swimming. They often have entertainment like slides, high dives, swimming lanes, and much more. These are also somewhat unique for Americans in Germany because although we do also have these types of pools in the US, another type of pool that is very popular in the US would be a neighborhood pool. These are generally a little bit smaller, but is paid for by the homeowners association fees in a neighborhood and is only open to those that live in the neighborhood or their guests. Personal backyard pools also exist in both countries, but these do seem significantly more common in the US as well. 
Besides these tips, there are lots of other ways to try and stay cool in Germany, like going to lakes and rivers, spas, or cafes in the evenings. However, if there is a particularly bad heat streak in Germany and all of these tips fail you, you can always just join in to the most popular German activity to beat the heat, and that is to just talk about the struggle and complain about it. Because I'm getting just beaten down by this German heat that everybody refuses to acknowledge and pretends that it's not hot in the summer in Germany ever and that air conditioning is not necessary. But don't ever give in to buying an air conditioner. Wait, 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 we're not showing that. No, 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 we're not showing let us know in the comments what your favorite ways are to stay cool in the summer, and in particular, what strategy you use to keep your home cool during the hot days. For the random question of the week, where is the best dream or real summertime travel destination? Thanks so much for watching, guys. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe buttons, and we will see you in our next video. Cheers. This is the second video today. All we did was change t-shirts. Shh, don't tell. Shh. This is, this is secret. Definitely specific to where we are. Sorry. A massive assortment of different. I bit my lip. Oh. Gosh dang it. Where they will have a massive assortment of different drinks you can get to help cool you off. Subscribe. <laughs>